So here we are interacting with Mother and and Ripley sends ask Mother questions and Mother like shuts them down. So mm-hmm. so I had a hard time parsing this out, especially when I was young. Could you like walk us through what was going on here? So let's see. Interface 2037, ready for inquiry. Request clarification on science inability to neutralize alien. Unable to clarify. So I guess they're inquiring with Mother. They can't neutralize the thing. What should we do next? Oh, and okay. Mother can't say. Uh, so request their request. The crew is requesting an enhancement of data. No further enhancement. The special order is for Ash's eyes only. Okay. Suspicious. 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 Whenever the one someone in the crew below the highest ranking person. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, and then I guess the crew. I think this actually might be Ripley at this time. Does an override. You know, one hundred three seventy five. That's Ripley's number. Is that Ripley's number? Yeah. Okay. And then, so she can override that because of an emergency situation. Okay. And she asks for what special order is, and this is the special order. Nostromo is rerouted to the signal, mm-hmm. or to the new coordinates. Investigate life sworn, gather specimen. Okay, that's the okay. objective. And then here's the, th- here's the big one. Priority one, ensure return of organism for analysis. All considerations, secondary crew expendable. So somehow the company knows either there's multiple of these scenarios out there with this alien or is this, they anticipated this somehow they know they're going the stromo is going to encounter the alien and they had this special order which one was it 937 ready to rock hmm. and they put it into use right away and the crew is expendable i see so there's some sort of backstory about how the how the company figured out what what to expect and they put this order in place in, in anticipation maybe like like why didn't the company just send out a dedicated like science team or or like sample recovery team maybe they can't do that because then the other companies will see like why are you sending a ship out there like we mm-hmm. are also going to go there so then they they like they send a mining ship out to a mining location that's kind of you know pretty close along the way and so this was actually all planned from the very beginning it wasn't like it wasn't like mm-hmm. they got to just just call that like let's reroute you like no, no the whole thing was a fake reroute because they knew to come here mm-hmm. and so maybe they know that the the rest of the crew is expendable because they've already lost a crew to it it could be i still don't maybe. quite see why they don't just send a sample retrieval team like a professional stealth team i mean Whalen yutani is a huge company they have resources to to get those hire those type of people hmm. my first thought is and i think this might be a fan theory like is it an experiment they want to see if the thing can take out a crew of humans oh so it, it's it's also useful data to see what it does on its when it when it's let loose oh yeah that could be i see and that would make sense why wouldn't they send a sample retrieval team because they want to get that data i want to get that sweet sweet data about how the alien interacts with people Company's fucked up. But then Ripley and the crew blew up the Nostromo, and so then they lost the data. But maybe this might not be the only encounter. I don't know. We'll see. Lots of cool backstory. Mm-hmm.